Hi folks, Dr. Bob, just want to make a quick video because I get this question constantly. You know, people say I'm not feeling well or I got a serious problem, you know, infectious disorder, or like a chronic disease, maybe they're being diagnosed with something, who knows. And well, I tell them the first thing is I say stop eating and they just look at me like, what are you talking about? Uh, saying I like to use and I've used it for many, many years, many meals, many diseases. The more you eat, the more you're susceptible to disease of any kind and um, including infectious disease because with infectious disease of course you're lowering your immune system you know when you eat and eat and eat um, and of course we're talking mainly cooked foods people just don't even want to hear that word you know we have Thanksgiving coming up here in a couple weeks and I guarantee you people do not want to hear um, about not eating at Thanksgiving you're supposed to stuff yourself um, you know I live on a diet of mostly raw fruits and vegetables and so, um, you know, this is kind of what I've been doing for all these years, and I feel great. The guy uh, came into my store recently, he says, I haven't been here in like three or four years, I was living in another part of the country, you look fantastic. And I said, well, I can still run a six minute mile. The reason I can do those things is because of my diet. It's my diet. And um, so if you're just getting up every day and you're eating breakfast and then you eat lunch and then you eat dinner and you're kind of always full and your stomach's really never empty and you don't give yourself a chance to really cleanse with water and you don't go on a fast, you're going to always be, you're going to be susceptible to disease, to disease of all kind. So many, many meals, many diseases. Stop eating all the time. And it's really hard to do. I'm not saying it's easy. Believe me, for me to change my diet to what I was brought up on, which was meat and potato, I grew up on junk, really. And then when I was about 20, I began to understand health. And then later on, um, I kind of, uh, you know, many, many years later, I discovered the raw food diet. And, you know, like I said, chronic disease does not exist in the wild. Nobody has ever shot a deer or any other animal and brought it back and found it full of cancer, arthritis, fibromyalgia, uh, high blood pressure, diabetes, you name the chronic disease, it does not exist in the wild, period. Um, and for all you uh, medical doctors out there, period and period again, because they're not taught this. See, diseases come from our genes. though They don't come from our genes. Yes, it runs in your family. No, dietary habits run in our families. Many meals, many diseases, and especially many cooked meals and the junk that people eat going to the store i mean i see some of the unhealthiest people and they're just their carts and their little buggies that they're driving around in they're just filled with boxes and cans of every kind you could imagine so stop eating so much that's my best message many many meals many many diseases that's what you'll end up with and it's hard to control your diet you know i said before in my videos it's um, easy to control the words coming out of your mouth, like you don't go to grandma's house or, or Thanksgiving and you start cussing up a storm. Some people can't help it, but it's pretty easy. To control your carnal desires and sexual desires, that's much more difficult. But what's most difficult to control is what goes into your mouth and what you swallow, okay? And uh, the foods that you love. We all love these certain foods. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm susceptible as anybody. It's just I have the will not to do it many meals, many meals, many diseases. Keep that in mind next time you go to eat and eat and eat and stuff yourself. Okay, it's really just not meant to be. Dr. Bob, see you next time. I just want to remind you to buy my books. I've got uh, eight books on natural health, uh, one on cancer, one on silver, one on water, some other ones. I've been writing books now, believe it or not, 25 years. And uh, go to amazon.com or Audible. I've got them all on Audible or go to BobMcCauleyBooks.com. But buy my books, please, and review them.